Hey kids, welcome back to Honestville. Uh, as I'm posting this video, this channel has just hit a thousand subscribers, so I just want to thank you guys for all of the support that I've got. The comment section has been lots of fun. Uh, regularly, boy, the music is loud. Uh, the comment section has been like lots of fun. You guys have given the name suggestions, which are great. I have a few name suggestions for this episode, which we'll do shortly. But uh, just a big thank you to all you guys. Uh, it's really fun to have this many people enjoying SimCity 4 content. On that note, my network add-on mod beginner's guide is finally up. I've gotten lots of questions in the comments about the network add-on mod from people who watch my tutorial videos and stuff. And so I made a very basic tutorial uh, to introduce really beginning players to the game. So by all means, check that out if you're interested. Uh, if not, that's okay too. Let's uh, let's dive into Honest Build though. Uh, so I think it's time uh, in the spirit of me making a network add-on mod video and revisiting some of those basics and stuff. I think it's time to do some some highway construction beyond just this plan that we've made here. I alluded to this uh, in the last couple episodes. I have placed an airport here. Uh, now, one of the suggestions I received in the comments from Madero05 was that I use a modular airport mod. And yeah, I think it's a great idea. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now. And the reason is because the I'm, I'm eyeing a few mods and the mod that I'm looking at is about as simple to install as the functional seaports mod in terms of dependencies and stuff like that, which uh, is not going to turn me off of it. I think that's that's fine. I, I would love to. It's got like some tree mods I need to get and stuff and, and shit like that that I think I actually want anyway, but it is going to take me probably, you know, a, a few hours of work to install that mod, so I'm not going to do it right away. Uh, but I think the airport mod that I'm looking at is going to basically take up a whole large tile. So that's the other reason I want to hold off to, to use a modded airport, uh, is that I think it'd be cool to see how the city expands and to kind of take a look at where it might make sense on the edge of the city to build one of these gigantic airports uh, that is sort of more realistic in scale. And this is called, this is Honestville, it's all about, you know, trying to create a city with realistic scale and demographics. So a realistic airport is going to be a really cool idea idea. Uh, also, at some point, we should think about expanding the seaport, which is just one little terminal right now. But uh, yeah, more things to think about in the future. For now, though, oh god, the annoying wall of clouds is coming and going to block my view. So first off, oh, that load time was nice and snappy. That's good. I, I'm, I got to get in the habit of like loading a city tile once uh, before I start recording these videos, because those long load times, uh, they go away. Once you've loaded one city once, it seems to hold everything in some kind of cache and then not have the load times anymore. So that's 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 just something i got to keep in mind on my end. Uh, Brett Lee uh, had two recommendations, actually, uh, one of which was essentially my name in binary. <laughs> and uh, perfectly, I'll be perfectly honest, I did not bother to copy and paste the many, many digits of binary that make up my name, but I will at some point. I want to think about how I want to use that name. It might be fun to test out the character limit on some of these <laughs> naming labels. Uh, I think it's a fun suggestion. But he also suggested, uh, they also suggested Slapdash Acres, which is a great name for a neighborhood. Uh, maybe we'll stick it in the central area here somewhere. Where have I got? I don't have a neighborhood name over here. And I feel like slash dat Slap Slap dash acres god say that three times fast uh is a great name for a kind of slightly run down neighborhood and so maybe over here uh let's stick it over here i think it, this is a sort of west end neighborhood that that to me also you know maybe i'll do it here actually because that to me s sounds kind of like a neighborhood name that like a real estate developer would would put up like like, buy your dream home in Slapdash Acres kind of thing. So I'm imagining this little development here, maybe it'll expand. But maybe this for now is just Slapdash Acres, you know? Maybe this is the latest development in Slapdash Acres. Slapdash Acres. It's probably just a few acres, that little neighborhood. Right. Uh, other things, I think, coming up soon. i got to do the Central Park soon. This, this triangular Central Park would be really cool as well. Uh, so that's one off the list. And I will make a note of that, that binary name suggestion, which I think is hilarious. Uh, Ryu Tenno, regular commenter, uh, recommended that I uh, gave me a, a recommendation for a cemetery. And I think it was the cemetery near Tanasia Gardens here, which does not have a name. Good. I wasn't sure whether it had a name. And uh, they recommended It's Just Business, which I think is pretty funny. So there we go. It's Just Business. Great name for a cemetery. Right. 
Uh, I noticed that this is this level crossing isn't done. I want to make a rail trench here. I was experimenting with uh, rail trenches and some of the cosmetic pieces I have uh, on the Twitch, and so I'm not going to do it right now because I want to make sure I get this highway done. I'd like to see if I can get one highway done in this episode. And so let's do it. I think this is going to be a pretty reasonably simple operation. Uh, but let's dive right into the uh, to this little airport expressway. Okay, one more time. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it right this time. Uh, let's grab the starter. We're going to put the starter here, actually. Uh, not this one. This one. Mm, even right there. Okay. That's really weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Really annoying graphical glitch. Uh, but uh, I, it'll go away. I think it might actually go away with um, might actually go away with like when I load when I quit and reload the tile. Um, and if it doesn't, well, fuck that. Uh, but we'll make it work. Just give myself a little bit of space here, some uh, reasonably flat terrain. Doesn't have to be perfect. Right, so the idea would be that this would be some kind of like loop and that there would be like an inside loop too, sort of a parking loop. And then we got this big three lane kind of collector and I'm hoping, what I'm hoping for is that we can, first of all, put a probably, hopefully a four lane, one tile avenue that goes like right there, and then have exit ramps leading into either side of this. I think that could be really cool. Yeah, does that even make sense? It would have to be one way, wouldn't it? Or it could be one way there and one way there. Yeah, that would sort of make sense. We'll see. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, let's um, let's start with the highway then, and I think the highway is going to actually be right, maybe one tile away, or not even. Like really, we're going to go with the three lane. This guy here. I'm going to drop it like back here. Uh, and we'll just drag it like this. And I want to see what the ramp looks like. Whether the ramp will drop. Oh, it looks like it will. It'll drop right in there. Uh, and I want this. I want to use actually the two lane ramp here. Like this. Okay, that's okay. I can fix that just need to... Can I fix it over here, maybe? Maybe? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Just drop another starter down, it'll fix it. Ah, uh, I've done that backwards. space for my ramp. That's a bit of the pro that's the problem there. Okay, this needs to go further back. This just needs to go further back. That's okay. In fact, we can drag this all the way back here just so that it goes over that road. Uh, there's not going to be an exit ramp on this road for now anyway. I don't know what's going to happen with this road. Ooh, I should flatten that out as well. Uh, we will at some point. And what the hell is that? It's just ridiculous. Let's just back this up a bit. Now what I need, I should probably actually do this backwards here. So I'll take the flex height. So 
This might actually need to be two lanes, not three. Yeah, I think it's gonna be two lanes. That's okay. And I'm gonna plop this guy right there. And if anything, this will just serve as a reference. And I will just replace this for now with a regular two-lane one-way road. Just put it here for now. And now what I need is the flex ramp. We're going to use the two-lane kind of parallel one here. Perfect. Uh, that worked remarkably well. I almost want to place this one first on the other side. If it will bloody well rotate to the right direction. Yeah, uh, that's it right there. Let's throw a starter in here. Go up to level one with the There we go. Okay. This is now ground level, so it should be able to just connect right up to... Okay, I'm going to go there, and I'd actually really like this to be one way there. Just uh, I, I want to make sure that this they can actually get to the airport. Question is, will I be able to go under this highway to connect up whatever avenue I should be able to. I should have. I should have enough space here. This. This is more than enough tiles. I think. I think. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna drag this out here so that it at least goes over the road. And sometimes they don't like to do this sort of multiple intersection type thing here. So we might have to delete this and kind of force it to. But we'll figure that out when we get there. This guy goes there. Connect this up. Oh, there we go. Uh, we're going to go just one tile out there, and this is going to be another one-way road. Like so. And we're going to basically do the opposite configuration on the other side here. Should be okay. Yeah, I think this is going to work fine. And I, the real question is, and I should probably just test this right now, is... I want basically something going... Yeah, okay, that's going to work fine. Mm, is it, though? I think it should. It really should. There's no reason why that shouldn't work. Um, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I think I'm going to see if I can make use it, use a... I, I would like it to be like... It'd be cool if it was like really nice and parallel there. Otherwise, I'll do a one-way like this and a one-way like that, kind of with those parking lanes, but I don't think that quite makes sense. Uh, let's... Just because of... I'm imagining these being kind of one-way loops, but... I don't know. At this, at this, like this, this lot here is really just not designed to be thought of in that way. So, I'm, you know, suspension of dis disbelief, basically. Um, let's go out here, and what I'd like to do is get one of those nice compact four-lane roads like this. And I will see. I don't know whether this is going to want to drag nicely. Looks like it to me. Oh. See, that sucks. Uh, but I think I can fix that. I think I can fix that if I just... It's going to make a bit of a mess here for a hot second. I don't... Ugh. Bastard. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. And if I can't do it, I just won't. But I'll do the uh, one-way solution or whatever. Yeah, no, that's fine. It just... As I say in my tutorial, just try things in different orders, and they should work. Oh no, it doesn't work. It doesn't like it. It doesn't like to be... It does not like to have the... I think this is kind of almost what I want anyway. I wouldn't really mind there just being one lane in, in under the... in the underpass there, but... 
Hmm, or I just use regular avenue. Just a matter of preference at this point, because it's gonna work. Because basically the idea is if this is a loop, then they would have to drive here, turn left, and then right, and then around if they want to enter the loop in that one, or they would go left and then around there. It makes sense. Let's just do it. Let's just create, actually, it's almost like a round, ooh, like almost like a, a sort of round, roundabout here, and then you go around this reverse roundabout there. It's not a roundabout. It's a loop. Uh, and there's absolutely no reason this shouldn't work off. It just does not like it when there's a lot of networks close by like this. <laughs> Ooh. This mod. It's just a can of worms, man. Okay. There are other ways I can do this, but I really would like to get this to work. And I, th I think maybe the avenue is going to be the best route. Ooh, what just happened there? Did I just... Okay, no, that's fine. But I really, I was really hoping everything could be nice and symmetrical. Why don't we just go with the uh, with this one then? See if that works. I was hoping to make this a higher capacity road, but yeah, but I don't like that, do I? I'm gonna go with it for now. There we are. That has worked nicely. And the question is, where do I want these other ramps? Yeah, I think there's going to be traffic jams on that. It's got to be an avenue. It's got to be an avenue. Let's just do the regular avenue. Um, it should play a little bit nicer with uh, with the network add-on mod, with the real highway pieces. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be like that. I don't think there's... I don't really see another way of doing it. And... Now we're going to do the reverse of what we did over here. So... The best way to do that is probably going to be... It doesn't need to be... I don't... I, particularly care if it's like perfectly symmetrical. Are these supposed to be, this is supposed to be a parking lot too. Hmm, well then it probably should be tighter in. We'll have a little, a little road going there and that would be like a sort of service lane for, you know, airport people to use, not the general public. Or, uh, this is the one that I want. Yep. This is the one that I want. I do, however, need room for a ramp, which I will have space for. Okay. Ooh, no, I won't. Let's just place the ramp and see what we can fit here. Oh, flex height. And squeeze that in right there. And what is that going to look like, though? We'll see. Now I need the flex ramp. Of course. No, let's do it this way. Let's actually move everything further out. Take this road right up here, so that these little parking lot things sort of have a surface lane. lane. Uh, let's drop the the height, the flex height piece here, which I probably keep calling the wrong thing. Let's drop it here, and then we are going to take the flex ramp. The flex ramp goes. this guy here. Boy, it is hard to see with those trees. And it goes like this. Okay. And then I drag this guy out. Boom. 
Then I connect that up there. Then I connect that up there. It's just to make sure that everything's kind of pointed in the right direction here. I think it, I think this is perfect. That's kind of cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I think that's pretty neat. Very, very compact. Hyper compact. Um, airport highway um, ramp system. And you stay in the middle lane if you want to just keep driving right past the highway and go on to the next exit or whatever, and then, or you just get off on this little ramp here and it's all very nice and smooth. Uh, might be potential for us to put like another service road in here or something. Uh, we'll see. We shall see. Uh, now. And if you're going in, yeah, you're going to go all the way to that avenue and then turn in. Ideally, I think ideally actually there would be a just trying to think of how this would work. I think ideally there would be a, because this is going to go like that. Ideally there would be, if I can fit in a, a little dude right there without breaking everything. Yep, perfect. Okay, and then I'll try and squeeze another one in there as well. And that makes this whole system so that you can sort of get to different parts of the parking lot. You know. Hmm. Could level that out. Or I could do an onslope one. I'm going to leave it for now. I don't mind coming back later and, and leveling things out. Um, just so that we actually get this done this episode. But I, I'm not going to be in the habit of like mass leveling huge parts of the terrain uh, for, for this stuff all the time. I want to kind of work with the perks of the terrain and maybe, you know, keep some of those hills and stuff. So we'll see, we'll see. Bear with me. Okay, uh, this really... There we go. Correct. I think that's where I want it. Yep. And now all we have to do is drag this all the way over here. And that will activate that little flex bit. We get a ramp here. Flex height. Correct. Uh, it's a bit weird. Not sure why it did it that way. Why it's only like a three tile one. We'll see if it wants to make friends. Yep, no problem. And then this is actually going to go right here, and we're going to go with... like that. And we'll put a little guy there. So this works like this, and that way you can actually drive on that one way out there. So it's like a multiple loop system here, like a loop like that, a little loop like this, to access the different parking lots and stuff. Uh, we should put some kind of bus terminal type thing at the airport. Um, which I didn't really think about in designing this, but <coughs> it's probably, I guess they're just going to have to go if, you go... if you take the bus here, you're just going to have to uh, walk under that underpass. Uh, the, the, the fancy airport mod that I will build eventually is going to have, is going to have a, it's, it's going to have like a built-in metro station and stuff like that anyway, so, so it's just not going to be, not going to be an issue. Now the question is, I kind of would like that avenue to go like directly downtown and I've noticed as well that there's kind of a lack of level cro of of I keep saying level cro crosses when I mean like un underground crossings but maybe it'll connect up here or something isn't there like a train station somewhere near here let's just take a look I think there might be oh no Somewhere, somewhere along here, it should connect up to... Where's the main train station? That's the question. Like, it should be a pretty... should go to a pretty big destination here. Actually, yeah, you know what? I think it should actually stay straight. And, and maybe cross over over here or something. So, uh, let's... Let's just kind of like... I may, I may end up like reconfiguring this avenue later, but let's just do something sort of like this. For now. Um, gotta plot that out. Now, 
Uh, there's not much room for there's not much room for a an exit system here. There is this rail line here, which I know is a little bit in the way. Did I level it out? It was kind of bumpy and weird. Yeah, that's fine for now. Um, but let's grab let's grab the highway and just kind of try and f connect it up to the neighbor connection, which needs to move south. Yeah, so there's definitely no room for. There's definitely no room for another exit system there. Well, I might be able to squeeze one in over here, but I'm going to hold off on that for now. This, this, I really would like this to be a little bit lower down on the map. So let's just uh, plot in a little Maxis highway. This is temporary. I, I will, uh, I will fix these. Um, there we go. And got to be ground level just because of the... Uh, I'm going to actually... You know what I should do is just kind of give myself a little guide here. It's actually remarkably level terrain. And yeah, this needs to curve over and it really does need to be on this tile. So hopefully we can make that curve, even if we need to do a little, a little bit of a loop. Hopefully I can make it turn. And it might be a little bit too tight. Let's see... Okay, well I can you know what I can I can move the I can move the is that correct? Oh shit, that's correct. Nice. Nice. Yeah, and there's I think there's definitely room for some kind of interchange on either side of this rail here. I think it's gonna be an interesting challenge. Uh, anyway, this is gonna gonna have to do we're gonna have to have a ramp down and then a transition to two lane and then uh, a connection to this. Unfortunately the connection works with two lane not three lane really and it only works it only really works at the ground level or level two for the Maxis highways. Um, but yeah we'll we'll deal with that after. Oof come on now. I need you to be here. The thing is, like, I know I can make, um, I think it's like this that I want to go, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I know I can make, like, smoother curves here using curves and stuff like that, but I, but it's, what's very hard to do with the 6S, which is what I'm using here, um, is, is make a tight highway like this that has, has nice curves, so, and transitioning to 6C is not going to be advantageous for, for this particular configuration, I don't think. Anyway, uh, we'll do that transition after, and I really would I would like to try and fit some kind of ramp system in here. Although the city hasn't really built out to that point yet, maybe this road here will kind of veer over. Maybe there'll be some kind of road connection over here to the highway. Um, but I don't even know if we need necessarily. Maybe we can spread it out. We can have it sort of on either side of the uh, of the railroad track there. Um, that could be kind of neat. Because there definitely could be, I think there's going to be a lot of industry around, along this little single track rail here. Uh, somebody did mention that they thought that I should just get rid of the single track rail because it's uh, it's just going to block off the city. And uh, nope, I'm not going to. Um, it's a good suggestion. It makes lots of sense. Uh, it's just that I I like it, and I you know I'd rather give myself these challenges. Um, so we're going to kind of do here. I could try maybe and do a, a nicer curve. Um, and there needs to be some kind of spur that goes maybe into this side of town. I don't want... I've got my Central Park tile here, and I, I don't really want the highway to go anywhere close to that. That's not... So that's kind of a highway-free zone. So... This diagonal road, however, which is named Pascal, from that wonderful idea I had of naming roads after philosophers, and that has since uh, gone the way of the, you know, one of those extinct creatures. Um, I'm going to just delete it for now, because uh, it is just going to get in the way, and I'm going to have to figure out how this road is going to work afterwards. Some of these roads are going to need expansion. I'm kind of glad I went with the avenue there, rather than trying to do a... It really, it really didn't like the um, network widening mod. 
road, which is unfortunate. I might have been able to cram it in there somehow, but uh, it, uh, it did not seem promising. You can also move this, but I'd rather not if we can avoid it. We built it. We should, uh, we should sort of deal with it. So yeah, I think what we need to do here is sort of zigzag over here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's. Are there any... I am trying to sort of pay attention to where there are little lanes here so that those little roadways sort of don't go to, no, to nowhere. So let's, let's level out the terrain beside this guy here and just connect up this little dude there. Okay. And what have we got over here? Similar stuff. Okay. Ooh. Is that... I don't even know if that's leveling properly. Okay, um, that that looks wrong to me. No, 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 it's it's level. It's hard to tell sometimes. Okay. So now all the little service lanes of that stadium have parking. And... Yeah. I think I could try and transition to 6C and see if I can get one of those nice curves. It'd be nice for me to at least try one, otherwise you guys are just going to think I'm a complete barbarian with these highways. Let's see if we can get that to work. Oh, I have a weird feeling that there isn't one for the elevated, but let's see. C to 6C, 6, level 2, yeah, we're at level 2, there isn't one. Okay. I don't like working with the uh, the combined one quite as much, so I'm afraid we are... Well, we can see if there's a curve, though. Maybe there's a curve I can use, even if it's not... I don't think there is, though. I think I've checked this. Multi-radius curve, level 0, RHW2. Flex multi-radius curve can be overridden to other single tile networks. Interesting. Okay, well, let's try one of these, just out of curiosity. Uh, it probably, oh, maybe it was only level, it might only be level... No, that's, that's not, uh, that's not going to work, unfortunately. Multi-radius curve. RHW6S level... Oh, that works. Cool. Okay. Well, um, 6S level 0 to to level 2. I don't see why not. I don't see what, what would possibly not make this work. So let's try it and see what it does. Bingo. Now how do I make the other side of it work? Oh, yeah, yep, yep. Sweet. So that's actually quite nice. I might even... I mean, it's actually... It's kind of tight over here. It's kind of a tight space. I really, really kind of does need to make that curve like that. But... I'm pretty happy with that. I'm willing to work with that for sure. It does look, it does look nicer. Question is, how closely can we line up the parallel one? Find the bloody thing again. RHW6S level 0 to level 2. This is correct. Okay. Ooh, yeah, it really. Really does not want it does not want to be to live close to the other one. Well, let's see what we let's see what it looks like when we when we kind of put it as close as we can. 
Yeah, it, it really is imagining you using a network with more more of a median between it. Uh, and the question, what I wonder now is if I just take this over diagonally, how bad it may it may actually not look that bad. Let's I'm gonna try one more thing here. Um, I mean that it may not look that bad if we do the kind of slightly more jagged curve on the outside, but not on the inside. That's actually kind of okay. I think I like that better. I mean, I know I know this is a little bit of an awkward shape there, but I think I actually like that better. Um, I'm going to unplug the entire city for a second here, so... I love how the game kind of hangs when you unplug your entire city from the power network. Like, it, it sort of momentarily freezes the, the, the software. <laughs> Like, there we go again, another little little miniature freeze. Um, it's almost like a, a suitable warning for what you've done. Right, and now we're going to go all the way over here. And I'm just wondering, what makes sense? Where where would I want my, my downtown? This road here. This road here, we can connect up to the highway. That would be kind of cool. So let's try and make that work. I'm going to have this kind of sneak around the back of the um, race course here. In fact, ooh, ooh, what's that? That's going to be one of those pieces that you're just terrified to delete. Uh, of course, I also could have done the curve there, couldn't I have? Try it. Yeah, so you know, I know, I know, I'm not always the most ambitious with these on this channel, but part of the reason is that I, I want to, I want to talk to you guys while I make these episodes, and I don't want to do like a voiceover of a time lapse. Uh, that, I, not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with that. There's lots of channels that do that. But I'm not quite, like, I don't really imagine this series as being me doing a really complicated thing and then just kind of voiceovering it for the benefit of the recording. Um, this is just not the correct curve at all. Um, I don't know if it will, I don't know if we have one that's actually, what we need actually I think is a fractional angle one there if we want to do that. Which I'm willing to very briefly look through, through the menu. So yeah, like I said, always a combination of Fractionally angled real highway. Uh, these are these are puzzle pieces. That see that I could sort of imagine working. Something like this. So it's a combination of like just experimenting, um, kind of live like this, but also oh 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 that looks good. Now it's it's we're still not found the right network, but let's see if they have anything that is they don't have anything flex in these yet. I don't think. That's that's RHW six, but it's uh, ground level. Do they have anything at all elevated that's like fractional angle? I wonder. I'm lost track at this point whether we've gone through them all yet. Yeah, okay, I don't think so. Yeah, no, I don't think so. All right, let's uh, let's just do it the uh, the kind of rough way here. And I'm really, really. I shudder to think what this, what, hap what happened here. Maybe it's just a leftover road from me leveling something. Uh, okay, and then we go around here. Of course, we probably also could have slid an exit system even here, although it's, it's quite close to this exit. I don't think the exits need to be that close together. No, I think we're good. And... Hmm. Of course, this could also be... This could also be an avenue. 
Yeah, it probably should be. That should probably also be an avenue. Question is, can I... I wonder if I can just drag. Oh, fuck. Wow, that's um, kind of neat. And then I'll just drag the avenue over. Is that going to work? Uh, that was almost too good to be true. Um, once again, unplug the city from the power network, but uh, not a big deal. And then we can go back up here. Uh, let's level this out. This is this has gotten real messy here. Really must remember to plug the city back in before I unpause. I mean, the race course can go without power for a while. Is what's? Mm. Yeah, I think this should be should be an avenue. Any of these these sort of longer distance regional roads that lead out to the highway really should be avenues. Um, I've uh, I've not been super impressed with the uh, network widening mod. I mean, I don't want to say I haven't, haven't been super impressed with it. I, it's obviously, it's a, it is a very impressive mod. I've, I've not been super impressed with its ability to work, play nicely with the highways. So I, I have, I, you know, I, I had mentioned earlier that I was hoping to not use ab the Maxis avenues as much and to use some of the other ones. But thus far, I've found that they seem to kind of create problems in various places, um, especially with the rail and with the and with the um, the the highways. So, so you know, again, I, I will I would like to use them, but uh, I would like to use them. I'm not. I'm certainly not giving up on them, but but I've I've run into enough minor minor issues that, for the time being, I'm just sort of doing this. Of course, I can also remake this into a single lane avenue, uh, a single tile avenue, and and then tra transition it. That works nicely. I'm not going to upgrade any of the networks in the actual city for the time being. Okay, yeah, and that way, that way, I can make something that connects up to, let's delete this for now, something that connects up to the highway, like a ramp, maybe here-ish, something like this, this is a very painting in broad strokes for this city, yeah. I don't know if that's going to leave me enough space for my curve, but we'll see. I can always... this is easy to shift over. There's no collector lane for this highway. Uh, it is kind of a central city highway, so it's... It's not... Uh, I will be building probably on the outside of the city, more of a kind of collector express type system. But uh, not in the downtown. I don't think it's... I think it's just takes too much space. Uh, it's probably I probably need to jog that over sooner there. Put some kind of curve in there, but I'm sure we'll have some interesting interchanges as well elsewhere. But I think this is a good start for a first episode with some more serious real highway stuff. Um, yeah, so I need to do the same thing again, actually. I'm going to use the same method. I quite like these. So I'm going to try and use the bare minimum amount of space here. Like that. And like that. A lot of the highways uh, where I live in Montreal function this way. Uh, this is how the... They're elevated. There's a couple of elevated highways that have a ramp, ramp systems that are tight, tight, tight like this. Um, actually, much, even tighter than this. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's peculiar. It'll fix itself, right, because this is going to go to two lanes. Okay, yeah, I might need to actually repair that inside bit there, but I, at least now I've plotted out where the ramp's going to go, and we're gonna, we are going to do a two-lane ramp again, because that kind of makes sense, especially given that the highway itself is like not super high capacity. It, it needs to be kind of supported by other higher capacity. God damn it. Come on now. What's what's the what's the what's the problem here? Ah, there we are. 
That's all I ask. Good Christ. Okay, uh, I think I need a little bit more space actually, but we'll see. Oh no, that works. Wow, that is probably ab absolutely as tight as we can do it in this. Now, I do need to fix this. God, I hope I'm clicking on the right tile here. Yep. Uh, so I do need to, hopefully I can maybe, did that? No. Okay. Uh, I need to, I need to just, just go through and you know, disconnect that. And I should now be able to do this without creating an absolute catastrophe. Ooh, this is a bit of a risky operation here. I think I can safely do that. Yep. I really do want that. This guy needs to come back. Okay. Everything everything is in order here. I, f I keep forgetting that it narrows when you use the two lane interchange like that, but it's it's okay. It's not a big deal. Um There we go. safe. Let's just sort of do this separately there. There we go. Perfect. That, that went swimmingly. Now let's see if we can replicate the exact same thing on the other side. I want a flex height. There is a design that I do sometimes where there's like another, yet another one way here, and then this actually has an exit that goes out to that. So the, the collector is actually out here, and these are just, the collector kind of scooches in to get closer to the highway near the ramp or whatever. Uh, and I'll, I'll try and do one of those in an upcoming, in an upcoming video. Um, not every video is going to be a highway video, if you can believe it. Uh, now. Hopefully, sometimes these don't want to play nice. And that looks good. Okay, now we just gotta fix the other side of this thing, which I should have fixed again before. Right, okay, that, that is gonna be okay then. I just need to, I'm just gonna use the disconnector piece here so that we are really, really sure that we don't foul up this uh, fantastic intersection. Now I can delete this, this is fine. And we're going to build the reverse of this intersection system on the other side. I'm, I'm amazed. I didn't think we could get it this tight. But, what can I say? Bingo. Nothing looks broken. We got the yellow lines on the right side everywhere. The ramp system, something a little bit weird going on there, but I don't know. Looks like a little minor graphical glitch. Uh, so I'm going to now do the opposite, and in order to do that, I'm going to place the flex height first, yep. And that's going to kind of frame things here so that we don't... When you do these really tight networks, it's, it's just every single tile counts, I find. And then I need to do some brain logic here to... there we go. Up. Uh, I'm just going to scooch this out here, and hopefully I can squeeze in the flex ramps painlessly. I might need to delete some of those tiles there. As soon as the flex ramps go in and the highway connects up... Ooh, I might need to put starters on the other side. Um, maybe not. Uh, it needs to be... This might not be the best way to do this. We'll see. Uh, that looks more or less what I like what I want. Yeah, it's gone to three lane. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, sweet. Uh, correct. I don't know if it's perfectly uh, symmetrical with the other side. I, I think I have a feeling there's like one extra tile on the on this side. Just need to connect that up. Make sure that looks good to me. Uh, I just want to now just drag this here and make sure that that's working properly and that that's working properly. Uh, it actually does look symmetrical. So yeah, there we go. That's two. That's two highway ramp systems. Two exits, sort of downtown exits. There, yeah. 
looks pretty good. Uh, and then it's just going to veer over here. So we'll see how uh, how well we can get it to do that. Uh, once again, I'm going to plot this out with... Oh, that's batshit crazy. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm just going to plot that out like that. Uh, I'm going to have to use the disconnector to disconnect the street from the highway here. Ooh. Okay, we're good. We're good. And we are going to need to transition to a ground highway and to... Uh, I think I'm just going to drag it for now. I don't think I'm going to fuck with another one of those. Well, maybe. Let's try a curve. Let's see if we can fit a curve. Just for kicks. We're, we're, we're fast running out of time here. You can see how long these take. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comments what you think, though. Uh, you know, is it better that I do a bunch of this stuff off screen and show it to you? Uh, is it, it do, you, do you like an episode like this where I do, like, just a bit of real highway? And then, you know, let me know. Um because I certainly... Is this Flex? Overridden by RHW6? Yeah, but it's not. It's too tight. Mm, yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. All right. Uh, unless there's another radius of that curve, but I don't think there is. L0 RHW. Can we go written? This is the same one I just looked at. Yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I can do the inside one this way. Maybe. Maybe. That might work. Yeah, that works. That will work. And then the outside one is going to have to be a little bit more angular. Like that. And I'm going to do this outside one first because it needs to line up there. And I guess there might be there might be a way to do a curve here too. Let's give it a shot. Let me know in the comments whether you yeah whether you would like to see more of this process, less of this process. Um, I will certainly be posting tutorial videos. I don't think so, guys. I will certainly be proposing tutorial videos about stuff like this, and those those are videos that I'm going to be editing lot a lot of stuff out of right um and i'm not going to be just chatting the whole time so so it's really a matter of what makes sense and what you guys want to see uh and and partly what i enjoy doing uh you know there is as you guys will have gathered there is there is stuff that i have more or less patience for in this game so uh I don't know. I think that curve is causing more trouble than it's worth. Speaking of patience, I, 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 I am going to just do the more angular route here because that, that is just not... Not... It's producing a graphical glitch, and yeah, unfortunate, but okay. Uh, there's room enough for, an, for yet another uh, exit here. Uh, I will not, however, do that this episode because we are running out of time. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Drag this down here. And we've made a lot of progress. And either I'll do a little bit more of this next episode, or I'll do it off screen, and we'll do something else next episode. Probably start to fill in these areas. But now that this highway is in place, we have a pretty clear sense. I'm going to plug the city in right now before I forget. Um, we have a pretty clear sense, I think, of what space there is left to build in in this central tile. We've got kind of all the essential infrastructure we need. There will obviously be sort of subway, god damn it, whatever. Um, there will sort of be subway infrastructure probably going in at some point and stuff like that. But that's all easy to squeeze into existing spaces. Even the rail, I can really, uh, I can really work with the rail and squeeze it into all sorts of tiny spaces. I guess this can be reconnected. All these roads are going to need to be kind of reconnected into... into this new network that we've created. Yeah, I think there's room for an avenue that goes kind of this way. Uh, and connects up to the highway as well. So, and maybe this will get expanded to the... Um, ooh, yeah, but it goes over the rail. This should probably just be an avenue the whole way. And another avenue here. Yeah, uh, the airport has no electricity. Let's fix 
against that. Should do it, right? Uh, no, interestingly enough. There we go. Right. Start to fill out these spaces. It's providing a lot more structure for the city. And yeah, another another exit system there. And yeah, maybe we'll put one here too. I don't know. Could be cool too. Another little exit system here that's kind of a little bit separate from the... Um, maybe even just a small one with like single lane, single lane exits. Um... I don't even know if there is enough space here. I don't even know if there is enough space there, actually. There might not be. It might just be... These two exits might just be the only ones. Or we can actually build one that starts here and then finish it in the other tile. That 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 might actually work as well. Have neighbor connections. That might be a smart idea because that would solve the two-lane problem in the middle there. If we just build a ramp system on either side of it and it goes, it narrows down to two lanes to meet up with the, with the Maxis Highway, that could be kind of cool. Anyway, uh, very different episode once again. Hope you've enjoyed it. I know this is not much highway for for uh, you know for one episode, but it it's uh, you know as you see it takes time, uh, and I actually had to try this about twice off screen before I actually got it right. Uh, even though this is a very simple, I, I tr well, essentially what I was trying to do was something a little bit more elaborate, uh, and and it it was not uh, it was not working. So yep, uh, see you next time. Uh, do hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and yeah, check out the new tutorial video if you want. Ciao!